Hey everyone, Adam here. So I'm having an issue with my scooter. It's been like this for a while, but uh, I'm finally getting around to uh, getting it fixed. But my left side uh, brake switch is not working. Uh, so as you can see, whenever I pull the front brake lever, the brake light come on. And then if I come over here and pull this side, there's no brake light. So I got a brake switch here that I'm going to be putting on here. It does have a different uh, type of connection on it. So I'm going to have to cut the wire and splice it. And I got a, a soldering iron and some electrical tape. So. Uh, I watched a YouTube video on it, so I think I'll be able to do it. But first off, I just need to get this cover off. Just the front cover, uh, basically. Got a couple screws here, one there, one there. Gonna go ahead and disconnect the uh, headlight. All right, so this is my brake switch right here. You can see this wire coming along here, and it's this one right here. So I just gotta get this out. You gotta take the screw out of uh, the brake lever, pull this out of the way, so you can get this off. Alright, got that out. Just got to pull this brake lever out of the way. That's good enough to get out of the way. And I got to cut this uh, zip tie in here I right, got the zip tie out of the way so this is the brake switch wire and I just need to disconnect it right there I don't know if I can do it with one hand we'll see yep I got that disconnected and then the brake switch you should be able to push it out like that. And I'm going to have to uh, pull those connectors out of there. So let me do that real quick. Shouldn't be too hard to do. I'm going to use this uh, little uh, Allen wrench to uh, get down in there. And disconnect just like that and got it off now all I have to do is just pull this wire out just like that this is the new brake switch and as you can see the connectors are different the, uh, the old ones they're flat and the new ones they're rounded so basically what I'm going to do, cut the wire on the, the flat ones here and splice it onto the new one. Cut this off and just splice it so that way I'll have a new brake switch with the correct connectors. I'm not going to cut it way up here, I'm just going to cut it down here. That way I have plenty of wire to work with. Got the new brake switch here. And I'm just going to cut them, uh, let's say, about two inches from the connectors. So I'm not going to need these. Probably end up throwing them away. All right, 
right, so I got the wires ready. Um, it does not matter uh, which wire goes to which, so I can put them this way or I can put them this way, doesn't matter. I'll just go ahead and start twisting these around each other. I got one on. Go ahead and do the other one. Got them on there now, so just gotta solder them, tape them up, and should be good to go. Okay, here's the thing. I have never soldered anything before in my life. So this was the first time. I don't know if you would call that good or not, but it's on there, not coming off. So I got some electrical tape here. Gonna go ahead and give it a good wrap. I'll wrap them individually and then I'll wrap them together up until about maybe right there. All right, that part's done. Got the new brake switch here. And I got it soldered and then taped all the way up to about right here. Left about this much open. Alright, I got it back in there. I just got to put these back in here. See which way they go. This one goes this way. And this one goes this way. Get back in there. Alright. Got them back in there. Now I just gotta put this wire where I need it. And probably end up just taping these together. But go ahead and plug this back in and see if uh, if they work. All right, get the brake lever back on. Now for now, I'm just gonna put the screw in, but I won't tighten it up yet until I test out the uh, the brake switch. I'll just get it in there. And let's see how it works. All right, so as you know, the uh, right side brake switch was already working. So you can see that works. And now this is the side that I replaced. So, and it works. So I have a lot of extra wire here, so I'm just going to kind of fold it over and tape it just so that it's not so long. It's, uh, maybe something like that. Maybe a little bit more down here at the end. I'm just kind of shorten it up a bit and then I can just shove it back here out of the way and I'm not going to put I'm not going to put another zip tie on just need to get this out of the way and now I can put the uh, cover back on <laughs> 